Small businesses are the backbone of the U.S. economy. They create a path to the American dream. So it's not only part of the economy, but it's part of economic mobility. I see it in the worker on the assembly line who clocked extra shifts to keep his company open. And I see it in the business owner because each of them, in different ways, know how much that precious right is worth. That's the America I know. I grew up believing in the American dream because my grandfather came to this country as an immigrant and he built a business. He built a textile business out of two machines in the top floor of his shop. And I grew up with him and he would say to me, you know, our family doesn't work for other people. Our family grows their own business. And to me, that's the American dream. The ability to come to this country, you know, without anything, without resources, without advantages and have access and opportunity. The world of small businesses is actually in somewhat of a crisis because new small business starts are at a low. There is a 30-year-long cycle of a lower and lower startup rate in this country, and actually no one knows why. Some of the frictions around access to capital and lending may well be part of that, but it's not the entire story. The most common mistake that small business owners make is that they don't understand their cash forecast. And business can be going very well, but you can run out of money. Small business lending is a difficult and painful process. For 50 or 100 years, you would Xerox a pile of paperwork, you'd take it down to your bank, and then you'd have a long conversation with a banker. Maybe three months later, you, you might get an answer that was, you know, no. Today with FinTech, there's more access and opportunity to get the capital that small businesses need. FinTech takes away some of the barriers and frictions that exist in small business lending. Today, we know there are gaps. We know that women and minority-owned businesses don't get all the capital that they need. FinTech has the opportunity to fill some of that gap by making more products and services available in a more seamless way to more customers. Small businesses have traditionally been a source of innovation. And one of the things that we like about the U.S. economy is when you have what we call creative destruction. There needs to be this sort of energy where new ideas and new businesses form and then create uh, pressure on all the old ideas. That's how small businesses actually can beat out large businesses because large businesses get set in their ways and they aren't necessarily able to adopt a new idea or be nimble. And that's when small entrepreneurs can win market share. This is actually a terrific time to start a small business because the resources that you need to begin are getting more and more identifiable and cheap because of technology. That ability that we have in America to create new businesses is unique and we need to make sure it is reinforced.